Hello my wonderful fair fairs and welcome back to another episode of our 100 baby challenge and you can already tell off the bat that there is something new and that of course is we did give our girl a little bit of a makeover I didn't do too much with her I just kind of um kind of like straightened out the curlies and made her hair a little bit longer and of course we've got the top bun as well you'll also see in the background that the kitchen does look extremely different uh, so I kind of just flipped it but then I got some new countertops and I went I used actually the parenthood pack because I'm like this is the 100 baby challenge and she wants to have a hundred babies so I used the parenthood pack for a lot of the stuff and there is a lot of changes to the house Um, I had to build up as well for an extra bedroom and I actually used nearly all of our simoleons nearly all of it um, and we are building it back up now because I had to do paintings and stuff off camera um, but I'm absolutely so freaking um, happy with the way the house is looking it looks literally like a family friendly house and you know of course because we are doing the 100 baby challenge these were actually in our household inventory and I think it's because when you do the parent of the, um, this thing here um, you actually get the decorative plates so I said we'll put a little um, thing here I'm gonna have it so I have moved the family um, breakfast table dinner table and all that to here I added an extra window here and I put some beautiful little curtains down I made it look like because they are a very high achieving family I put this here and I actually finally got the curfew board and she has the curfew for 9 p.m. every night oh there's our beautiful little uh, Susan uh, going to the potty Okay, so this is our new kitchen. I will show you the other rooms in a second. This is our new family style kitchen. Um, it took me a while for me to be happy with the kitchen um, because I think that's like the kitchen is the heart of the home. So um, I was going to do like a big island, but it's like, no, this is perfect. So we have our, our sink here and I even kind of put a little rug here and then we've got like all the fruit stuff. We've lots of fruit bowls because we've lots of kids. And I did put a Pikachu here in the corner. This is so tight, like it's meant to be a family kitchen. And we will start building it up with clutter as well as we go through the generations. Um, so yeah, that's the new kitchen. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. So because nobody really watched the television, unless I actually had them watch the television, I removed it from here. I made it kind of like a little... um. You know, like chill out area so we've got the bookcases and any um references about the house that we do i will actually pop them still up on this wall i put a cute little um oh i don't want you to see all the rooms yet um but i did put this cute little um chair here and i have our little giraffe and i got this table as well for the kids to start so we could start popping up um the paintings and stuff they do around the house i got a wabbit and this is still kind of like the same um, I won't change that area way too much until we want to build um, a bigger one. I gave her a proper bedroom, guys. I gave her a proper bed with her clothes and stuff. And I put the TV in her room. And we still have all of this. So this is like her, like when she wants to get escape the kids, she can come into this room. And the kids can't use her bathroom anymore, which is even better. I'm sorry, but like who wants to share a bathroom with your with all the kids and um, we still have our little nursery here I didn't do anything different with the nursery or this bathroom the first up we're going to check on is of course our toddler room here we go and all right okay so I kind of just like really really gave it some like pops of color I got some new toddler beds I know sometimes you might have more than two toddlers at a time but you know we can we can manage with the toddlers okay um so I gave them like it's very cute and then this wall is the accent wall so it literally has all of the um things against it so we've got like little trees and clouds and we have a chair as well because one of the kids actually really likes to sit in there um so and then on this wall it's still very bare but i'm happy with it i actually thought i had a bookcase in here i don't have a bookcase do i oh i do have a bookcase okay so this is what i mean like this is the wall so that's a very colorful wall as well and i've got a little lamp in here and that and I hate the fact that we cannot paint the ceilings okay so that is the new toddler room very colorful and vibey I didn't touch this one here and this is the kid room I actually um I kind of went against what I would say but with a dog being the only pet that we have I'm gonna pop you back up here I don't know why you were down there um okay so I got them a little pygmy hedgehog and this teaches them responsibility and stuff like they have to keep this little guy alive 
and I put a big bookcase in here as you will see there is a ladder here but I will show you that area in a minute um okay so I have two little cool little beds here and I have the, the the giraffe here and I gave them like little chairs at the end of their beds I'm gonna have to fix um this pale pink one because it's not um they're not they're not matching oh uh, but as you can see one of our girls is already in here okay so let's go up okay so this is the teen area and yes I know we're probably going to have more than two teens at a time as well but if I'm doing it right we're always going to have like two newborns two kids and two teens as we go along so um I kind of did like spacey vibes as well in areas so spacey vibes and clouds here and it's all like kind of pinky but I kept the same colored wallpaper the whole way around and I just kind of tried to personalize each area um one of the like um oh and I they're out of the preteen stage I'm thinking about getting rid of the preteen mod because it actually does make it harder to kind of go through things a little bit quicker um but this is like, the robot you know like um Noah is always like messing with uh electronics and stuff so I left this area and then of course for Jane we have this kind of butterfly vibey area here and then like it's going to be perfect as well for other teens because we can fit two more beds here and here um if needed but um for now I'm planning for two two and two so it always only have like six kids in the house at one stage because I'm thinking about always keeping a pet um so pumpkin being the first pet I really do need to have a picture taken oh he remembers his birthday Okay, I'm actually going to have um, Noah take a picture of Pumpkin so we can have Pumpkin up on the wall. Um, not only will it be the 100... Oh, that is actually a really cool photo. Not only will it be like the 100 Baby Challenge, it's also going to be for the pets that we have for each generation. And um, Pumpkin, you are the absolute bee's knees of the pets. I love this dog so much. There you go. So, um, okay, what's everyone doing? Okay, Pumpkin has 17 followers. Awesome. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you actually... Oh my god, I forgot about the outside area. We have a new vibey outside area. Okay, what's happening? Or right, okay. I wanted to do a whole um, of the new areas. Okay, so that's perfect, actually. All right, so I'm going to have her painting um, the new areas. Okay, so... Um... Right, so we've only got like a thousand but that's from her doing pictures and stuff but I did a whole new outside vibey area for them and everything especially with them when summer comes and stuff and when we start doing having parties and things so I've got like a little pool area and everything and a little bar area and a little um sit down area here somewhere all right so yeah uh, here um I know I don't have a lot of time stuff yet but I will um Okay, you need to do your project as well, man. And Jane, you need to do your project after you do your schoolwork. But I am absolutely loving this so freaking much. Um, it's unreal. Um, I just really want them to kind of start working on their school stuff because I want them to age up. Uh, what's going on, Katrina? Caleb. Caleb would like to come over to hang out. Oh, of course. Uh, Caleb is our next uh, conqueror. We're going to be conquering him very soon. Um. I want, uh, actually, no, we'll do the whole replace thing. We can afford it. Um, but we do need her to flush and do some cleaning. Um, straighten on my bed, seriously? Why are you on my bed? Okay. Um, that's him, like, saying, yay, let's, um... Uh, Sim has all is too big, but we can still do woo woos. Okay. Oh my god, Caesar! Oh my god, did you just get level three? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have a look. Oh my god, she did. Okay, we so we have communication. All right, let's go and grab. Let's, no, no, no. Let's go and please stop doing this to me. Um, let's get her to go and uh, build up her communication with our beautiful Blarfy. I do want to name these teddy bears, so if anyone wants to help me name the teddy bears, uh, leave your suggestions in the comments as well. Wow, okay, this is so freaking cool. We're going to get our two... Uh, what's wrong, girl? All right, well, you're going to be playing with Blarfy now, and then, of course, you're going to get to play at the dollhouse. So that's definitely going to help, and then we're going to pop you down for, in, uh, for bedtime. 
when you are done. Okay. Um, all right, let's see how the kiddos are doing. Oh, we got rocket science. Uh, Jane, where are you? You are doing stuff. Girl, have you done your homework t for today? Reissue your homework. Okay, you need to... See, this is what I mean. You don't keep on track of them. They actually don't do their schoolwork. Um, so I'm just going to get them all to start doing schoolwork. I cannot wait to see what they all have. And I know I'm being a bad mom right now because I'm not making them go to bed. Um, okay, so... Oh, wow, okay, you're woo-wooing. I forgot I asked her to do that. Okay, so we got to do... Um, all right, so... Our little uh, pygmy hedgehog's name is Thimble, but um, out of respect for my daughter, we are going to call it Dippy. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Oh, I do have pictures of my girl, our girl. Okay, so we have a kid wall, which is this one here. So let's find a wall that's going to be specifically for pictures all right do you know what? i'm actually gonna remove this uh that's actually your dad so you, i'll keep you can keep that picture and we're going to make this the pet wall which is probably going to become very depressing because with the amount of generations that are going to be in this house we are going to have a lot of heartbreak heartbreak all right and these pictures i'm going to actually start popping into all right why are you doing this to me thank you we're going to start popping into um all right out here because we're gonna have like all of the children's art through the years and with the thanks and goodness of um, build mode we can shrink them down so we can fit nearly all of them what's happening why what 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 okay you're gonna actually literally have to clean everything why are you in here when Caleb is on the toilet oh my god I love my kids ah, 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 ah. Pumpkin, we do not play in the trash. Okay, pumpkin, thank you. Let's, um, all right, not, not into inventory, polish to perfection. Uh, wow, he got a level three. Okay, that's awesome. I love this so much. Par pumpkin has learned not to play in the trash. It's my girl. Hi, sweetheart. Yay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, are you off to bed, my love? She is off to bed. I love that. Okay, homework is complete for all kids. They're going to go work on their projects and they're probably going to have a late night. Um, but yeah, we're just going to pop you into sleep now in a few minutes and you're going to go to sleep as well. And then I'm just going to make sure that Noah and uh, Jane have uh, their beds cleaned. Oh my God, I should have got the... All right, I'm going to go straight into build mode. I want to actually get them those lamps. You know the ones that um, ward off the monsters under the bed? Um, I'm not sure how it is. My, I, seriously, my game is so slow lately because I actually do have a lot of um, mods. I absolutely love the mods, so I'm not taking any of them out. The preteen mod is actually kind of getting a little bit on my nerves. But that's more got to do with me now than it is the game. It really is. Okay, here they are. And um, pop them behind the beds. I'm actually going to pop. There's, um, do you help with nightmares as well? It's a force we reckon to it. Uh, all right, okay. So it's the monsters. And then is there like a nurturing light for the kiddos? Um, actually, I'll pop them in here as well, just because of the fact that I don't want any more kids having nightmares. Okay, so that's the lamps got then for the toddlers and the kids' rooms. So, mum's doing all household chores. Kids are, are, of course, doing homework, and then they will hop to bed. I want you to leave, write a note for... All right, wrong person. Okay. <laughs> Please do get my nerves. Um, write a note for... Noah. And then, of course, create a drawing for Jane because they're our first two eldest kids. Okay, you should be back in bed. What the frick are you doing? Go back to sleep, please. Um, it's too late for you to be up and chatting with your brothers and sisters. Okay? You are hungry. Oh, you're hangry. Is that what it says? Hangry or hungry? 
Hangry. He's hangry. Um. Okay. So you actually stopped what you were doing. I don't like that. Caleb, you can go home. You're spending too much time here now. Why can't you do this? I'm just, uh, I have to get going now. See you later. Bye. Okay, can you go in here please and do this? Thank you. Good girl. Uh, right, okay, so... All kiddos are bummed back to bed. Uh, some are still doing schoolwork. Where's my... Oh, he's fine. Um, they're all doing this. Okay. And once they're all done, they will all go to bed. And then we'll have to make sure they get up for school in the morning. Okay, so everyone is up bright and early. Right, what are you doing, Noah? Let's see how you are getting on. Okay, you should be an A student today. Oh, my God, so is Jane. Okay. And here we are. What? When did she become an A student? <gasps> oh my god, I missed A jobs. Okay, so when they come home from school today, oh, you're good. All right, you're fine. Um, we're going to have to have a birthday party. So I'm going to have to get her to bake a cake. Um, how are your baking skills? Oh my god, sweet video pie. Okay, so it's all right. I don't understand that. Like, isn't baking a cake? That's baking, right? Why is it not in the baking? Does that mean we might have so many age ups today? If so, I'm gonna have to bake more than one cake. <gasps> zombie cake! Oh my god, yes, so much zombie cake. Okay. Oh, I've, oh yeah, and I bought the attic box because I just want decorations in my house. Um. Oh my god. Oh, this is so freaking cool. We're gonna have so many age ups. Uh, Alright, you're not, but you are hungry, so you need to get up. You're not taking a piece of the cake. Thank you. Mom, you need to come home now. We're out running with, um, pumpkin. Okay. And Jane, you need to come take some leftovers. Because Mom did make some meatballs. Why can't you grab serving? Get some leftovers. Thank you. Wash. Oh my god, can you not come downstairs? No. You can't, so I don't understand that. Is there something in the way of the fridge that you cannot get to the fridge? Okay. School for Georgiana. Wait, what was that? Katrina's boss was happy with the work she did from home and she made 1,850 this morning. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, it's always work from home because that's the only way we can do this. Um, all right. Yeah. Oh, that's why. That's why she couldn't go and get some leftovers because mom was coming back to bake a cake. So come get leftovers now. All right. You are now. Overthinking. Okay. She's an introvert. Okay, so everyone's going to have to go to school soon. Have you all eaten? Or you're, you're not actually too bad. She's hungry. You're fine. Because you were playing with your rodent. You are hungry. Can you wake up, please, and get some breakfast? Thank you. And Noah. Can you go and just... Because uh, just, your, your sister and your brother are actually still sleeping. Oh, he's setting the table. Oh, I like that. Why are you in here? Okay. Um, how about you just go and get yourself ready for school? Okay. Uh, mom. I actually can't believe this. Can we age these up today when they come home? I actually have to check the traits. Alright, okay. Manners and responsibility are in the green. That's awesome. He's got at least two traits and he only needs one. Jane, what about you? Character values, okay. Wow, okay, you've got high manners, responsibility, and empathy. You have actually nearly, you've three and a half, and you will only need one. You are, oh my god, you've, that, all right, you can age up today, and oh my god, so she can't. Oh, this is so freaking cool, I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm so, so happy. Okay, you little darling, you better go and listen to your teacher. Listen to your teacher, thank you. Oh, you need to go and listen to your teacher, okay. 
Um, nice work, Georgiana. Complete school projects. Awesome. 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 Wow, okay, so I learned so much in school. That's freaking amazing. I love that so much. Okay, so you baked the cake, right? Where's the cake? Where's our cake? Did you bake the cake? What the frick? Where's the cake? She baked the cake, right? Did she just pull it somewhere and I didn't see where she put it? In her inventory, really? Okay, you need to add birth candles to this. We're going to have so many age ups today. Oh my god, I think we can age up the toddlers today as well. Hold on. Alright, she needs thinking. She just needs thinking. Okay, come please come over here and start doing with the blocks, please. Oh my god, she's so freaking close. Oh my god, we can age up all six kids today. Oh, it's so freaking cool. Um, Are you actually... Yeah, he's fine. Darcy's fine, so I'm just going to let him nap. Darcy is... He is ready to go. He's ready to go. Okay, so pop you back in there. And mum, I'm going to have you go and bake another cake. I cannot believe we can age up all six freaking kids today. Actually, that's only if Noah and Jane actually get become A students today in school. So four. We can actually age up four. We don't know about the other two until they come home from school. But this is so cool. Oh, I'm going to do a winter cake. Actually, no, no, that's for my legacy challenge. I do winter cakes for my legacy challenge. Oh my god, look at all these. Blueberry pie. Mm, I feel hungry now. Oh, raspberry pie. Let's do... Is there other cakes besides the zombie one? Like, fancy. I know there's a hamburger cake. Um, but I've never actually made the hamburger cake, I don't think, in Sims at all. Okay, so let's do the blue confetti cake. We're going to make the blue confetti cake. Okay. So she's going to do thinking. Oh my god. Oh, she really needs to go to the bathroom as well. So I'll have her go potty. Are you okay? Oh, he's teasing. Are you going to play with your sister? No. Um. Alright, how about you just go and hug Blarfy because of the fact that you're so upset, my boy. My boy. Um, she's picking another cake. And our girl is going out here. Oh! Extra credit. Go for extra credit. I got small farms gain. My god, are my kids going to actually age up today? Oh my god. They're all like excellent. An excellent B student. I'm not actually going to say that they are because of the fact that last time it didn't work out that way. Um... Someone had a sugar cookie. Oh god, no! Who had? <gasps> um, be real. We got royalties, geek cons in Elizabeth Church. Sh that. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. <gasps> What's this about? I actually don't know what that was about. Okay, what do you have to do today for work? Get playful and. Right, trending vlog. Okay, I'm actually not even concerned with that. We get good money anyways. Um, okay, pop that back over here. Uh, Alright, no, you're not centered. Okay, how about now? No. Nope. Oh, this is going to freaking annoy me. Okay, how about now? Are you centered now? Are you centered now? You are. Go add bark candles to that. Thank you very much. Get rid of this sugar cookie. My kids are just obsessed with sugar cookies. Okay. One thing I have learned is these school books always kind of keep them in your home library because you're going to need them. And with the fact that she's going to have so many kids, we're going to need them. Okay, so she really needs a shower. So I'm going to let her go and take a shower. All right, you've added the bar to candles to that. Thank you so much, my dear. So toddlers, kids, and teens. Okay, so the teens could age up today to... Young adult, which means we can move out our first, oh, it's actually heartbreaking, our first uh, two kids, our first kids. It's going to be so freaking heartbreaking. Um, but I am going to get her to take lots of pictures with them and everything. But we officially will not have any toddlers in the house um, after today, which means we can officially um, invite Caleb back over and yeah. We'll be able to end the episode today with literally her being 
pregnant with probably vampire babies. Uh, I'm not even scared about that because of the fact that, you know, each vampire child, each occult sim you have, it counts as two children. So we're on six right now. And I know it's been like a slow start, but like the first ones are always a slow start while you're constantly moving uh, kids out. Are you okay, my dear? Okay, dry skin. Can you actually apply some lotion, my love? There you go. Um, oh, and like Noah and Jane, when I age them up to young adult, I'm going to do the life decider thing on it so that they have money and stuff moving out. And I actually have my notebook beside me so I know exactly how much to get. Um, I might put up everyday decorations. Um, oh, look, Jane is level two. Oh, my God. Jane could be a writer. Jane Austen, guys. Jane Austen. Oh, wait, did I, what's I get? Oh, lamb. I could get her to marry in Austen. <laughs> Who wants a side story? <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Okay, my girl, how are you doing? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, she's done. She's so freaking done. Oh my god, this is a freaking adorable. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Um, oh god, I can age up my tots now while everyone is in school. So I'm going to do that. Okay, let's do this. Okay, take out my cakes. Um, open. Okay, so I'll take out my blue confetti cake. And my zombie cake okay so let's bring um susan's first on this so susan first and then we will bring okay it's not centered is that way it's acting that way okay um no okay what's that what's going on Help blow out candles, Darcy. Okay, and we need to add the candles back on that. I'm gonna move that over there actually for now. Okay, girl, are you going for your birthday? Oh my god, she's gonna age up. Oh my god, kid. Oh my god, here, here. Is she going outside to age up? Okay, walls are all down because I don't want to miss her aging up. Okay. And you're bringing him to get his one son, right? Okay. Susan, where are you going? Where are you going to age up? Are you going around to the side of the house? Stop walking, girl. Just age up there. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, my God. Look at her. She age oh, my God. She's got such a freaking cool hat on. Okay, so I'm going to... Randomize it there, so she's a geek. Okay. And, okay, I'm just gonna... Right, okay. Pick a number between one and four. Okay, motor. Okay, so she's a rambunctious scamp. It's a geek. Alright, I'm sorry. That is actually freaking cute. Seriously? Add the work on that. Now, where is Darcy going to age up? Alright. He actually waited here. Ah! <laughs> okay, so randomize. So he is a music lover. Okay. Uh, pick a number between one and four. Creativity. Okay. So he is an artistic prodigy and music lover. Wow, that's freaking cool. I actually really, really like that. Um. Okay, so... She already put the candles on that one. Do I have to take out the other cake? And I can't remember if I put candles on the other cake. But I really love her top. It's got a it's got a big white cat on it. I freaking love that so much. Um. Okay. Open. I cannot remember if she put candles on it. I guess she didn't. So um. You. You are going to put candles on this cake. Thank you very much. Uh, add wedding candles. Um, okay, where are you going? Read board. He's very sad. Okay, so you are going to start on your homework because that's what it's going to be. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so it's going in. 
Wow, okay, I'll make it. Alright, so my tots are now kids. And when my other kids come home, they are going to be teens. Okay, so everyone's home. Um, oh, Alright, no, it's an A. Jane's an A. Oh my god, I can eat them all up today. Okay, so just go quick pause. I'm just gonna open up my fridge. Um, open. Okay, so I'm gonna take out my blue confetti cake. Thank you. And I'm gonna get rid of this. I wanna put it in there, but I'm gonna take out my other. I have two cakes. I can age up everybody pretty much all at once. So Noah, you're gonna go first. Blow out your candles. And Jane, you're gonna blow, go out and. Okay, you for some reason. Alright, how about now? Okay, blood candles. Oh my god. Okay, my teens are about to become young adults. I'm so freaking happy. <laughs> Our first set of young adults. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I actually don't care how slow this um challenge is. I'm just like I'm so happy. Okay. Hi Noah. So when Noah's done, I'm gonna get him. Uh, yes, okay. Advert candles, thank you. Oh, Jane aged up first? Wow, okay. I'm going to randomise that. Okay, so she got the Villainous Valentine. This sim wants to destroy the love lives of all sims, including their own. She got the dastardly part of that. She's a cat lover, she's evil, and she got the squeamish trait. Okay, and she got a present from her dad. And Noah, are you going to age up now for me? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> um, Noah, so he wants to be a master chef, and he got the essence of flavor with that. He's a foodie, outdoorsy, and erratic. That's a bit freaking weird, dude. That's that's actually really really weird. Uh, girl, I want you to come back and add red candles to your cake. You? Alright, nope. Can we add this? Okay, so. Hot pause. And we're gonna have Elizabeth come and blow out her candles. And Georgiana, you are gonna come and blow out your candles. Mommy, why are you walking through the bench? Okay, so our. Oh wow. Jane and Noah are both young adults. I feel literally um so hot. Oh, preteen years. Oh god, I hate this mod so much. Okay, so um our QE is now preteen. Okay, so I'm gonna randomize this one. So she's Aries, okay. Um uh, three, six, nine, twelve. So three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, pick a number between one and fifteen. Sorry, um, pick a number between one and fourteen. Okay, love. Uh, pick a number between one and two. Okay, we got serial romantic, uh, glutton. And she's in Aries. Okay. Awesome. Already loving the hair. Already loving the hair. Uh, she's going to be such a mad sim. Um, okay, Georgiana, you're next, my love. Okay, here we go, guys. <gasps> okay, so let's go. Let's... Okay. Pick a number between 1 and 14. Okay. Um, pick a number between one and seven. Ah, okay. And then this. She got the uh, oh, Taurus. Hey, I'm not erratic. Um, she's spellcraft and sorcery, and with that, she got the quick learner. She's a child of the ocean, and of course, a Taurus. She looks pretty, pretty cool. Okay. Oh my God. So. All of our kids are aged up. We have to move Noah and Jane out. So I'm going to do that now off camera. 
Okay, so I absolutely love when things work out this way. So this is what I did. I moved Noah and Jane out. Um, Jane, let's have a look at you, my dear. Jane, I did the, I forgot to do it before they left the house. So when I went, to, when I moved them into their new place in Glimmerbrook, um, because she got, of course, you know, the whole spellcraft and sorcery. So what I did is I moved them to Glimmerbrook, the two of them, and I did the Decide Life there, and they actually got like ni nearly nine grand between the two of them. So that's actually even better. Um, I'm going to pop these cakes. They're going to be out anyways because there's no particles on them, but it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I've moved them to Glimmerbrook, which is awesome. Now, the next thing I'm actually going to get her to do is I'm actually going to get her to invite over Caleb. Uh, let's invite him to hang out because of the fact that we can now get, um, I, excuse me, dude, leave my room. Go here. Thank you. Bye. So I should literally let, not let the kids go. Caleb will be right over. Okay. So we now have room. Are you all leaving? Is she going to? She's going for food. She's doing reading. You are not doing anything. So I'm actually going to have you do some art. Um, I don't care about this. Thank you very much. Where are you? Where is she? Uh, she's not here. She's actually over. So you need to come back. Thank you. And you need to do some fall crafts. That's my girl. And you, I'm just going to have you read. This read, okay? Because you are artistic and stuff like that. So, um... My girl, you are going to come here. Um, we are going to try for a baby with Caleb, uh, which is even awesome. He's uncomfortable, though. Why are you uncomfortable? All right, because you're out in the sun and you're a vampire and you shouldn't be out in the sun. I might have to create an occult sim kind of um, room for my little vampire babies and stuff. But I will actually bring occult sims into this because I know you can. And I know it's like two... Uh, for every one you have, it's two. So they are, are, he just sped to the bed. He's like, yes, queen. Let us, uh, let me be part of your 100 baby life goal. I would like to have some offspring of my own in the world. Okay, this belongs to you. I think you're the only one that did not have it in their inventory. The rest of them do. So this is going in here. Thank you. I do kind of want to get um, do they, like you can get these boxes now. Right, okay. So they are they're doing the business. That's fine. Okay. So is there a way for me to keep the kids out of here and only allow Sims that she enters? Lock for Pacific Sims. Okay. So I want to lock them for you. Uh, you especially when I'm having visitors over <laughs> so when um there you go they can't come in now so okay girl you need to go no 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 food can we take a brain's test okay oh please 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 And that's how we end the episode, guys. So, she has a puckers. Okay. Ooh. Chance of twins uh, from the lot traits. That's awesome. Uh, where did you... Oh, pumpkin, are you okay? Is she going to tell him? Oh, my God, she is, isn't she? <gasps> is she telling him? Is he's face? Are you happy? Oh yes, I'm so happy you've included me in your 100 baby race against time. I am so happy to have some offspring. Thank you so much, Katrina. But I must be going now. Goodbye, Caleb. Oh, we should actually break off the romance thingy right now. Um, Ask to just be friends. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um... Asked to be just friends. Okay, let's pop you in here. Where is he after getting this from? Lump of clay. Okay. Wow, would you would you look at the time? I have to go now. See you later. Do we get to say? Uh, okay. I suppose you just left, but okay. 
Hi Caleb. Um, but we will say that now. We are going to actually tell him like, um, now that I have gotten what I need, um, I really think we should just remain friends. You can come over whenever you want, of course, and spend time with your children without me, like, of course, making you look after them or anything like that. You just do it yourself. But yeah, can we just be friends now? I think we're better as friends. I guess you're going to do that now. And then we're actually going to end the episode because of the fact that all of these kids are amazing. I am actually going to remove the preteen um, mod thingy from them because of the fact that um, it really does screw up with my time frame. So I'm just going to remove it. Okay, thank you. Uh, there we go. Okay, so they've done their, I know they've done their homework. Um, oh, how did he feel about that? Is he happy? Okay, do you want to leave now? Just Why won't he take it? Oh my god, he's not actually letting me um, just be friends with him. Okay. Does she keep cancelling that interaction? Does she want Caleb to be her forever? Because what we could do is the very end episode before we change over to the next um, matriarch is we can have him turn her and they can spend the rest of their days together. Uh, Darcy's homework. So, oh, okay. Is he okay with it? Uh, go after a romantic relationship. Okay, so can we get him? Oh, he's angry. Send you home. Bye bye. Who are you? Uh, who are you? Why are you at my house? Okay. So this literally, this literally was the most entertaining <laughs> episode ever. We got. So much accomplished in this episode as our girl. Hi, Katrina. So, we aged up our Noah and Jane, and they have now moved out of the family home. Um, Georgiana and, oh God, this is going to drive me mad. Elizabeth have aged up to teens, and then our last two, which is Susan and Darcy, have now aged up to children, and we are now expecting hopefully vampire babies but until the next episode guys i hope you're having an absolutely amazing day and i shall see my pear bears in another episode bye